everyone! Today we're going to learn how to hold our yarn and hook for crocheting. We're also going to learn how to chain. So to learn how to do this and to practice, you'll need a crochet hook of any size and some scrap yarn that is compatible with the hook. So we're going to start with a slip knot and to do that we're going to take our end of the yarn, make a loop with the tail over top, like so. We're going to take a second loop from the working yarn and we're going to put that through the hole that we just made, the first one. And we're going to pull both ends of the yarn. And we have our nice big slip knot. We're going to put that on the hook. Pull the working yarn to close, sorry. Mm -mm. We're going to work here on the crochet hook. You don't want to work here because that's where you're doing all your stitches and stuff. This is where you want the rest of your project to sit. So the way I hold my yarn, and you know, this might not be how everyone holds it, everyone has their own styles, um, is I wrap it around my pinky once, so I make a, a loop, then I bring it over my index finger, and this is how I hold it. So we'll go over that again. To, the way I hold my yarn as a right-handed crocheter, <laughs> that's a right word, crocheter, um, is I wrap the working yarn around my pinky one time, then I bring it over my index finger. And that way I can, you know, yarn over nice and easy. And I have control of my tension because of the pinky thing, so I can pull more yarn if I want to work with more. And then usually if I have too much, I just I unravel the yarn and I just redo my hold on the yarn. And if you're left-handed, you'll want to do the reverse. Oh, I haven't practiced this, so over my pinky once, over my index finger, not so bad, I think that's right, yeah, and then you can yarn over, oh, oh no, yarn over this way, yeah, okay, but I can't crochet at all with my left hand, so to do the chain, I'm going to use my right hand again, and I don't know, maybe you can flip the video if you're left-handed, I'm sorry, I'm going to hold this chain with my with what's left of my fingers, my thumb, and cross it over. We're going to yarn over, that's when we bring the yarn over the hook. Who would have thought? So yarn over, and then I'm going to turn my hook downwards and pull this this part of the yarn through our slip knot. Like so. And then you have your first chain. So then I bring it back here, make another chain, I'm going to yarn over again, turn my crochet hook down. You don't have to do that, I just find it's easier because there's a gap more at the bottom. So I turn my crochet hook down, or at least forward some more, and then I'm putting it through the bottom of the last stitch. Yeah. So yarn over, like so, turn the hook down, pull the yarn through the previous stitch. Now you can see we've done three and how you count them is these V-shaped crisscrosses. So we have one that was our start, right? That was our slip knot. Two, the one we did into it, and three, the last one we just did. We don't count what's on our hook right now. That doesn't count as one of our chains. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the basics. So keep practicing this and then you'll be ready to do projects other crochet projects in no time. I hope you guys find this video helpful. I'd like to do some crochet projects with you guys in the future, so please practice so we can do that together. Or you can just come back and watch. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe and hit that like button if you find this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.